the previous episode of my cake frosting journey, I experimented with multi colors on a cake. In this episode, I got delivered some cake colors or food colors. I love working with colors because they make the cake look better, look brighter, especially cakes for children and young minds. Colors are really beautiful. Here I have my colors. I'm so excited. I haven't been able to have this much colors at a time. It got delivered in the mail. By the way, these things don't come cheap. They don't come cheap really. And they're so little. Yes, yeah, so I have my colors now. Here I have like nine colors, different shades of colors. I think I have two shades of yellow. I'm so excited and I'm happy to be working with this. Let's get started. Now in this episode, I'll be frosting this cake. Note, there's no birthday. I just made this cake and decided why not? If not, let's just create content with this. And I have to go around and frost it. It's not a birthday party. It's not an order. I just made this cake for the children. And I decided, yes, I got my colors now. Let's make something. Let me make something with this cake. Since I have little more ingredients and leftover frosting ingredients i have a little butter and i also work with my mi frosting so why not if not that is why i am frosting this cake the frosting is limited the frosting ingredients i use are very limited so i don't have enough to spare or to do something extravagant yeah when i started this i added some frosting on the cake board this is to help the cake attach firmly to the board. It helps it not to slip off. I start the cakes. In the previous episodes, you must have seen me syrup wash the cake. I don't know what the expert called that, but it's basically moistening of the cake with some syrup, which is made up of boiled water and sugar. I've done it for this cake off camera. That is why I'm able to just stack it without showing you, but you can find it in other episodes. I have limited amounts of crumb coating frosting. So yeah, I'll walk around with it and make sure I'm able to cover this cake significantly with what I have. I'm really working on this to learn how to work with minimal resources. I mustn't have so much. Besides, like I've said, there's no birthday party. This is not an order. I'm just practicing, you know, working my hands around the cake. It's part of being perfect, right? Is there anything like perfection? But whatever it is, I'm just working around. I also noticed I still have a problem with leveling of the cake, probably because I have limited amounts of frosting. Um, because with the frosting, I should be able to, you know, pad up the cake so it becomes level. I still have a problem with that. And also I have a problem with knowing the right amount or the right quantity of frost needed for a cake. I just basically work with my discretion. Like I just feel, okay, this butter is enough or this is enough for this and I work with it. But whenever I start frosting, I find that I always find out that, that you no, know, it's not enough. You should have, you know, gotten more ingredients ready yeah so today i'm working with what i have i have to make sure i crumb coat this cake with what i have i make sure i cover up the the sides the top you know wherever with what i have look at it i'm trying to get up with the little i still have and the piping bag i cover up everywhere to make sure all the crumb coats are tucked in nicely still in the process of crumb coating what do you think about crumb coating? Do you think it's really essential? Do you think it's really important to crumb coat your cake? Or should someone, you know, go ahead and just pad up their cakes with the colors they have? Do you think crumb coating is essential? Please leave a comment below. Let's, you know, let's do this together. I hope I'm carrying you along if you're watching this. Even if you're here for the first time, welcome to the channel. This episode is basically me trying to frost a cake with minimal ingredients and also showing you the colors i've been able to you know order and work with it for the first time today will be the first time i'm working with this type of color that i'm going to be applying so we're almost done with the crumb coating this is what i have at the moment i'm trying to cover up all the sides with whatever extra frosting i have i hope all the crumbs are well tucked in 
i'm almost done here and it's it's looking nice it's looking nice and well covered except for somewhere down so we have to still cover it properly so far so good as long as the crumbs are no longer in the way or we no longer affect my real frosting or the main frosting i think i'm always good to go i'm good to go and that's it this is the final lap and this is what it looks on a closer look a well crumb coated cake i hope the experts will give me like a five out of ten for this <laughs> so this is it i place it in the freezer to you know get it frozen a bit i mean a bit for about seven to ten minutes while i prepare the rest of the frosting so that is it i think it is okay now yes i place it in the freezer and return it back after seven minutes seven to ten minutes and i go around to clean off the cake board of the leftover frosting from my experience it is easier taking it off after it is a bit frozen than just cleaning it off when it is wet or you know sort of melted so it's easier to take it off with my take off my smoothener that's what i use i'm, I'm taking it off with this smoothener i just go around and scrape it off next i use a paper towel to clean it off properly this will enhance the look on the cake board make it neater and free from excess frosting because it looks better when everything looks neat or to some great extent nice looking like i can't imagine like ordering or delivering a cake and i find the cake board dirty so yes guys my first color has arrived i'm working with purple or indigo anyone you call it i have limited frosting today and this is just what i have for this cake just this on top but i'm going to work my way around it with this little frosting if it were for a big event or for a real event the frosting would have been bigger because cake needs some padding of frosting the more frosting you have the more defects or holes you are able to cover but with this limited amount of frosting, I'm just going to work my, my way around it with what I have at the top. And guys, do you think my frosting is thick? I think it's a bit thick from... Because when I watch some cake videos, their frostings sometimes are a bit um, light or melted. But I, I think I love it like this as a beginner, working with those really wet frosting it can really be messy and not so good for me but i think i like this texture like this and due to the temperature of the weather where i am right now any little thing gets melted like before you say jack everything is melted so i'm able to walk around and i still have some places to cover with this frosting so i take from the top and i cover the down part with this this frosting is just so limited i don't have enough i don't have enough of this so i just walk around walk around note guys like i said earlier this is not for a birthday party this is not for sale i'm practicing my cake frosting i take it to the freezer bring it back in while i take it to the freezer i'm able to work on my next color which is stay tuned and watch more then i clean up the cake board of the previous indigo color on it i cleaned up with the scraper with the smoothener and then a kitchen paper i clean it off nicely so we're not having a messy cake board i'm able to work with this and i'm so happy i'm so glad that this colors went around to some extent although i can still see the crumb coat color but yeah it was able to cover it so i have my color yellow i decide to attach some yellow guys look at why is it not working the way i want it to work ah <sighs> at this point i felt it melted so much or it's not so thick as i want guys look i'm so disappointed right now but yeah let me just keep let me just keep attaching it i feel i should have kept it a bit in the freezer for it to you know get solidified a bit 
this frosting is not giving it's not giving me that flower i wanted i wanted the piped kind of flowers but look at i'm so so disappointed i'm so so disappointed but yeah thank god it's not for a real event that is why we keep learning we learn every day so look i'm not so happy with what i have here but let me keep working on it and it's just a limited amount of frosting I cover up limited space I have. I place it in the freezer a bit more and bring it back in for about five minutes. And I have the final color. I'll be using pink. Now, this pink frosting, I kept it in the freezer, rather in the fridge for it to just chill for some time. But it appears right now it is a lot more frozen, like it is a lot more thicker. It is quite difficult to detach from the pipe look at it guys i'm really struggling to detach this from the pipe we truly learn every day we truly learn every day that is why we keep practicing and practicing look at i really don't know what i've done it's literally cutting off and it's not looking like the the experts first thing i always see is just cutting off it's really cutting off this is what I have today, guys. <laughs> what do you think? Please leave a comment. Leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. What do you think? If this is your first time watching or if you've been following me on this cake frosting journey, have you been able to bake and frost a cake yourself? How has it been? Please, let's share. Let's share. Sisters, come closer. Brothers, come closer. Let's share. How has it been on your end? Have you been able to frost a cake perfectly? share in the comment section and if you've been able to do anything did you make a video of it did you snap a picture please if you do let me know so i can follow you up and share you on as well i have my instagram page platinum diner and i have i am also on tiktok platinum diner so you can always reach out to me anywhere on pinterest yeah i literally have no following there but reach out to me let's connect instagram tiktok facebook pinterest platinum diner i am just there so this is what i have i attach some stars to it to give it a more beautiful and enhanced look one thing i notice with cakes especially cakes for people that appreciate colors is the more additions you add to the cake the more colors the more decorations or appliques you add to the cake the better the cake looks more beautiful and you're able to cover some defects also top it on this end of this frosting and this is the final look although it, the first thing today doesn't look perfect so guys what do you think leave a comment and always reach out to me at platinum diner facebook instagram tiktok pinterest anywhere catch up on previous episode if it is your first time watching welcome to the platinum diner farm remember to subscribe reach out to me because i'm always one call away have a beautiful day ahead and stay tuned for more.